All right, everybody, you got to subscribe to YouTube slash Art Future. They rock. Follow them for the latest electronic stuff. <laughs> awesome. My name is Eric Johnson and I've, built, I've brought my flexible LED panels back, but this time as an actual maker, so I didn't have to pay this time. Yay! Yay. <laughs> and um, I've just got my panels, so a couple of them out on display with long extension cords so people can play with them, hold them, do whatever they like, wow. kick them, throw them, ah, drop them. It's alive! <laughs> uh, they're very versatile. Now how are they wired together? They're on a uh, plastic chicken wire substrate, as we saw last time. Okay. On the back, it's Cat5 network cable, stripped apart, pulled apart, and then individually wired. Okay. Um, the ones that are doing the random blinky, flashy stuff on my sleeves, my legs, and then uh -huh. the demo panels. Right. Those are just being addressed by 555 timer. Okay. So it's just doing scanning and color cycling. These are individually okay. addressable. Yes, they are. They're individually addressable. And um, these, the ones on my chest here, yeah. I've got plugged into a Beagle board, oh, which is okay. new. Now, it's, it's, no, tell me a little bit about this. It's an ARM-based CPU. It's a basically a full-fledged computer. It's got HDMI video out, audio input-output, USB. And I've also got plugged into it here a USB Wi-Fi dongle. What that's doing is this is serving as an AP Wi-Fi. Okay. Um, there's a web server running on it and okay. a DHCP and DNS server. Oh wow! So when you connect to it with a Wi-Fi enabled device, okay, this gives you your IP address and any uh, query, any web pages you attempt to reach out with on your browser, this hijacks and redirects you to itself. Oh so wow! So it takes you to my control page. Okay. Where I can select and control anything on here. Like let's say. I go to the spiral mode. Okay. It's gonna do a slow spiral. Okay. So I can speed that up by changing my delay. Walk that down here. Go. Speed that up. There we go. Oh, that's awesome. I can do things like uh, obviously do graphics. It's a little okay. bit fast. Oh, uh, fun. Okay. Slow that down. So. I have now, here. when you're doing the web side of it, so yeah. you're actually doing a, a web-based app, okay? Yes, it's a, the Linux is running on here. It's a Linux okay. kernel. Okay. It's running Apache as a server with PHP extension. Okay. And I've got a custom program I wrote in C that does the actual controlling of the panels. Oh, awesome. Um, and the way the web interface talks to that yeah, program is by control, pipe file. Like the, the web the server writes to a file, and then my program so listens to the file to like figure out what it wants to do. Oh, that's awesome. And um, it's obviously very interactive. Yeah. I've even got a Tetris game on here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. I'm going to step away a little bit. Right. So I'm going to look at the web interface here. So you have all those buttons. Awesome. Yep. It works fully. You can clear lines, navigate, rotate. You got your upcoming pieces. <laughs> You just have to stand still for long enough for right, a person I, to play I can't the be game. Everybody. <laughs> to make it a little bit more difficult. Right? Right. Come on. So tell me a little bit about where you want to go with this. What's, what are your plans for this? I take it to events, uh, large festivals. Um, my plan is I, I, I'm slowly getting to where I want to be, where I have computer control, multi panel interaction. Right. To eventually get it to do the same thing on all the panels. Right. So I can do, like, say, a Tron sequence where okay. um, they'll do the scanning where I'm getting scanned in the machine and all yeah. of a sudden I have my Tron lines. Yeah. And I'm Tron. Okay. Or I could maybe wear, like, a costume. I'd have my Mario suspenders and then I'm wearing I'm Mario. Oh, awesome. Right. So and you could become kind of a virtual character. Right, exactly. Awesome. I, I can change my outfit dynamically. And also, I'm on the way of testing my sprites oh, here. Awesome. so right down the lower half here is the bitmap as it stands <laughs> and on the top i've been testing rotating it okay. i haven't finished this yet but eventually i want these to be characters moving around me like pac-man eating the balls oh, and, awesome. uh, i want to be able to go in with my sperm <laughs> yeah. uh, i want to go in uh, random direction, so I want to be able to rotate it, like have them go this way, then that way, or that okay. way. Um, eventually I want that all over. Sure, right. So and then, how, ex so, uh, how about uh, selling these? Any interest in that? I do have a 
very strong interest in do that, and so does everybody else. Okay. But right now, they're entirely 100% handmade. Okay. Uh, it takes a lot of time and labor. Uh, to be able to sell them would be a very slow process until I get them manufactured, and okay. then I'll, of course, let everybody know. Right, yes, <laughs> right. please. Now, do you have a website or anything, any place that people can kind of see how things are going as you're developing? Yes, it's a lightbright.net, proper spelling, L I G H T B R I G H T. Um, or just search for LED suit, you'll find me as well. <laughs> okay, LED suit, awesome. Follow me on Twitter. Yeah, follow me on Twitter, friend me on Facebook. Okay, thank you. Thank you.